two videos, one day. We took out the Atoned. Now we're going to take out the Archbishop. This one's kind of a doozy, though, so I'm going to have to go a little bit more in depth on this one. With that being said, there's going to be two things that I highly recommend before we go into this fight. The first is the Flame Burge Arm Flamethrower. The second is the Grindstone Flame Upgrade, basically the thing that allows you to apply flame to your weapon. This will allow you to get more damage off where you otherwise wouldn't, and you'll see when I break it down in the fight how I use these two things effectively. So right away when you go into this fight, imbue your weapon with flame. I don't do it because I was fighting him for kind of a while, like trying to master his moveset, and I had his first phase down pat, like pretty good, so I kind of was saving it just in case. Alright, now time for the fun part, the moveset. I'm kind of glad that he throws this tongue attack first because this is a very, very uh, common combination that he throws. Um, look at that, he, th he throws it twice in a row here. So I'm going to show you the effective way to parry that to get the most amount of stagger off him. So when this man lifts his head up, he's going to do like a quick slash down followed by a swing. Um, now that, that attack comes down way faster than you think. And I remember like that first tongue attack is the one that was getting me like a lot of the time because it comes way faster than you think. And if you don't perfectly parry, it still gets the, some, some of the damage off. So when you see him lift his head, it should be, you should be thinking like of a quick block followed by a pause and then another block. Okay, so this guy's red slam attacks are pretty fucking hard to parry. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> so, uh, like, these these are probably the last, like, moves that I got good at parrying before I beat this guy. I'm not gonna lie. The key to parrying these attacks is right before he slams, he moves one of his legs. So, when he does the other slam, it's definitely a little bit more obvious when he moves his leg. But in this one, it's like, at the last second, he moves his right leg, and that's when you have to parry. So here I'm going to put my editing skills to good use and slow down what he's doing. See how he's lifting his leg there, like right before he's slamming? Because he waits a while and then he does this. I just freezed it and slowed it down um, so that you could see him lift his leg. Okay, so if you manage to perfect the timing on that slam attack, you'll be able to follow up and counter with, you know, either a charged attack or, or a fable attack um, and do an incredibly good amount of uh, stagger damage to him. The next attack we're going to break down is a popular 1-2 that he throws. It's going to be like a slow slam with his right hand, and then it's going to be followed by like a sweep attack um, that comes out a little bit faster. Um, that sweep attack definitely comes out a little bit faster when he's doing the 1-2 attack. He throws another combination later that's a little bit similar, but we'll get into that later. And by later, I meant 5 seconds. Here's the uh, triple attack that he throws that's kind of similar. He's going to go scratch, pause, slam, pause, pause, attack. Scratch, pause, slam, pause, pause, attack. See that? That last attack is very delayed. So as a final tip in this first phase, um, especially when you start getting like his timing down, try your hardest to, to do like fully charged power attacks because that combined with like perfect parry timing is going to like seriously staggered this guy like multiple times like you can see he had like a third of his health there and and just the damage i was doing alone there was able to to knock the rest of it off so when you come face to face with this asshole you definitely don't want to be face to face with him <laughs> like try to get behind him as fast as you can um i know it's a little bit easier said than done this time i got lucky because the first attack he threw was like uh was like that butt slam attack so I was just kind of able to run around him, but you want to get around him as fast as you can so you, so that the majority of this fight, you could be fighting his backside because his backside is basically going to be their first fight all over again. Um, he does have a couple of different new moves, but most, uh, most of what he throws, like 75% of what he's throwing is the same thing. That one too that he threw in the beginning of the fight, he throws a little bit differently this time. When it comes to perfectly parrying this attack, I think that both of these attacks are slow as shit, but they have like the same exact like timing in terms of like um, parrying them. So here's where the flame burst is going to come into play. You're going to use this to do as much damage as you can to him and to try and set him on fire basically before you land that riposte attack. Um, that's going to allow you to one, um, do as much damage as you can, and two, there's a chance you could set him on fire. 
So this next attack is kind of a pain in the ass because the camera angle is really fucked here. But judging by the way that he like slams down after he does this, it's almost as if like you're supposed to run underneath him when he gets on his hind two legs like that. You're supposed to run underneath him before he shoots the beam out and then he'll slam, but you'll be on the other side of him so you'll be safe. Um, but because of the camera angle, it's it, it just makes it really difficult to do that. So I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. So just, I guess, be careful and I don't know, maybe not be locked on him like and, and that might help also look how lucky i get here like that's crazy like <laughs> like he he really should have killed me right there with that slam hilariously the boss will sometimes go for a walk and do a slam um he's supposed to walk towards you but sometimes he just walks like in the complete opposite direction of you and you're just kind of like where are you going buddy So here, coming up, we actually have the other uh, slam attack that he does. And you see how he lifts his leg like that right before he comes down? Look, he's going to do it again. Lift leg, boom, comes down. And um, that's basically the effective way to parry it. You can, you can run away and be safe if you want. Um, but if you want to get like the maximum, maximum amount of like posture off him, that's basically the way you would time that attack is, you know, as soon as he lifts his leg, slam. I'd also like to mention here that jump attacks are going to be really useful throughout this entire boss fight, like, um, especially if you're using like a great sword, they're going to be incredibly useful in the first phase and in the second phase when he does a slam attack like that, because if, you, if you're not comfortable with doing like a full charged um, heavy attack, then you can just run in and, and do a jump attack, you know, and do a pretty decent amount of damage. Okay, so this next attack is a quick slam, followed by like a pause and then a sweep. Um, in the first phase, he would do it a lot slower. Like he would raise and then come down. And this one, it's like raise and he's down. Um, and then he follows it with a sweep. Where, whereas in the first phase, he didn't follow it with a sweep attack. He just did like a long slam. So um, definitely, definitely look out for this attack. And if he does it, just know that, that the sweep is coming um, next. There's also a really good way to counter that like follow up sweep attack. Um, if you like strafe to your right side, like he hits you with like his leg. And if you just focus on his leg when he's doing that second attack, like that's, that's really what you're like parrying, parrying. I know I let the fight play on a little bit, but I wanted to get it to the point, um, where he did it again because the first time I got caught off guard by it and this time I perfectly parried it and I just kind of wanted to showcase like what it looked like, like when you got the timing right on it. And again, anytime you see the opportunity to land a fully charged attack, please do. Because, I mean, the stagger, I mean, if, you, if you're getting some of your blocks right and, and, and you do those attacks, you are going to stagger the shit out of him. Okay? And then you can land those repost attacks. And, um, and remember to use your fable where you can too, like your fable attacks as well. Um, this guy definitely definitely was the hardest boss up to this up to this point so hopefully i was able to help some people out there with him because he was definitely giving me a little bit of trouble in the beginning and then even in the second phase he was giving me a little bit of trouble um for like a solid little bit because of the timing difference but alas he felt like the rest of them hopefully now you guys can go and stomp his shit in and you too can see a pretty cutscene. till the next boss guide Everybody stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.